25th, 2009, on Highway 6 near Waco, Texas, two cars crashed into each other head-on. Eyewitnesses at the scene saw a fiery crash and also a divine rescue at the hands of angels. 911, what's your emergency? There has been a really serious car accident. We have a vehicle that is upside down and on fire. These people are trapped and we need the jaws of life. We need help now. Four lives intersected on Highway 6 in Crawford, Texas that day. Sherry and Cody Clemens, Lisa Bowden, and Anthony Russo all met in the midst of tragedy. But all say they had a supernatural encounter on that rain-slicked road that changed their lives forever. I was on my way home from work. It had been raining all that day. I just lost control. Lisa's SUV slid into the path of Anthony's oncoming car. I remember seeing the car come through my windshield. And that's it, I blacked out. I remember waking up. <laughs> the impact flipped Lisa's SUV multiple times, crushing Anthony's car. Both drivers were trapped. My feet were on fire. The car was filling up with smoke. There was fire coming in through my left door. And it had burnt my arm. My leg, I didn't feel no pain or anything like that, but I just knew I wasn't going to die this way. And the steering wheel was stuck in my chest, I couldn't move. Anthony blacked out a second time. Lisa began to pray. I just remember saying, God help me. And it seemed like when I had that peace come over me that everything was going to be okay um, is when Sherry showed up. Sherry and Cody Clemens saw the wrecked vehicles and raced to help. Sherry called 911. Then she cried out to God for a miracle. I could just feel this, the gift of faith, stirring inside of my chest that nobody is going to die here today. Nobody, I'm not going to watch anybody die. God is going to show up. The couple ran over to Lisa's burning SUV. Cody climbed inside to try to pull Lisa from the growing flames. God gave me the courage to go in there because I told him right there I was scared I didn't want to die. I didn't want to burn up. The next thing I know, I'm in the car. I was upside down and the seat belt, I kept trying to release it, but it wouldn't release. I handed her the knife and she cut the seat belt and she fell to the, to the roof. And the next thing that happened was that both her and I realized that she wasn't coming out of the vehicle. The roof had been crushed and there was not much room, maybe, maybe less than eight inches or, or for her to get through. In a split second, the impossible situation turned into a divine rescue. When I reached out, we grabbed each other's hands. There was another set of hands that grabbed our hands. As I saw Cody's hands, I saw a set of just white hands around his. As he started pulling me through, it was just a burst of white light. Before I knew it, we were both outside the vehicle. Sherry, who had been standing next to the SUV, witnessed the whole thing. God sent an angel to pull Lisa out of that car. And I saw this bright white light. And then I saw these hands reach past me where there was no room. And they grabbed a hold of Cody's hands and Lisa's hands. And all of a sudden it was like, boop. Cody and Lisa were on the grass next to me. It could only be God's angels pulling me through there. But the worst was far from over. A few feet away, Anthony lay unconscious with no way to escape the fire consuming his car. There was this huge explosion and the flames just completely rolled over the car and over Anthony, just consumed it in the black rolling flames. And I just screamed, I said, God, send your angels now. At that moment, another eyewitness saw a second miracle unfold. I was just crying out, God, you've got to help this man. You've got to help this man. And he seemed to just emerge through the door, and he just kind of floated out on, on the ground. So I believe that God sent supernatural angels here to help him get out of that vehicle. Even though Anthony lost consciousness during the accident, he says there's no doubt who rescued him from the fiery crash. I was definitely God, definitely. I feel like what happened to me was a miracle. I can only say that the Lord sent an angel and removed Lisa from the car because she was not going to come out of that car. Um, and he also sent an angel and pulled Anthony out of his car because he was not coming out of that car either. 
Soon after, firefighters arrived to douse the flames. God had already pulled everybody out of the vehicles and everybody was on the grass. And all of a sudden we look over and everybody looks and here's this huge rainbow just completely encompassing the entire scene. Lisa and Anthony were taken to the hospital with serious injuries, including broken bones and severe burns. I went through eight months of rehab and I'm able to walk. Recovery has been great. My burns have healed with no problems, no skin grafts. Um, that was another miracle that happened. It took me, I think over a year, I was going between a walker and crutches and then from crutches to a cane. I feel good to be walking with a cane, but I still want to walk without one. Two years later, the miracle on Highway 6 remains etched in their minds. A day that desperate prayers were answered, precious lives were saved, and God orchestrated a heroic rescue. He's an awesome God because he loves us so much. So I think it's his mercy being covered and protected in the blood of Jesus, you know. And that's what it was. The, the, the angel of death or whatever, it, it passed over. He didn't have any right. He had no authority to take anybody's life that day because Jesus was there and he pulled him out. God answers the fervent, heartfelt cry, our fervent, heartfelt prayers. God answers those and he delivers us. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. That's what God's Word says. That's why we encourage you to get in the Word. There are some promises there for you. And as you watch this story today, I hope that your faith has been built to believe for your need that the same God who heard the cry in the moment of that accident for these people, here's your cry today and wants to speak and move in the midst of your circumstances. We want to pray for you, but first, here's some answers to prayer to encourage you in your faith. Uh, Gordon, since birth, Pamela,